Hi, welcome to Physical Science 1.3. This is our lesson on density. Density is the relationship between mass and volume. It describes how tightly the atoms or the molecules of a substance are packed together. Some things are very, very dense and they will sink in water because they have a density greater than one of water. Some things will float because they have a density that is less than one or less than water. So you're going to create a formula sheet and if you're physically in class I'll be giving you a colored piece of paper. You're going to um, put this in the first box. Density is the equation D equals M divided by V. M equals D times V and V equals M divided by D. Now the equations themselves are useful but you need to know what they are and what they're measured in. The M stands for mass and it's measured in grams and kilograms. The V stands for volume measured in centimeters cubed and liters. The little three on centimeters cubed has nothing to do with the number itself, it's just part of the units. And the D stands for density, and it is a mixed unit, like miles per hour. Density will be measured in grams per centimeter cubed, grams per liter, and so on. Let's look at several examples of how we're going to use these equations to solve density problems. If a sample of zinc has a mass of 25.4 grams and its volume is 12.3 centimeters cubed, what is the density of the sample? So the equation from your formula sheet that you need is D is equal to M divided by V. And yes, whenever we solve a math type problem, we want to see your equation, your work, your answer, and your units. So the equation this problem needs is D is equal to M divided by V. Then in the problem, where is the M? M is the mass, it is 25.4 grams. And then the V is 12.3. So on a calculator, take 25.4 divided by 12.3 and you will get 2.07 grams per centimeter cubed. In this class, we are going to round to two decimal places. Example two, if a sample of silver has a density of 10.5 grams per centimeter cubed and takes a volume of 120 centimeters cubed, what is its mass? This time we need our M equals equation. M is equal to D times V. The mathematical order of how you do things matters. So the density given in the problem is 10.5. The volume is 120. Multiply to get the mass of 1,260 grams. Example three, a sample of aluminum has a density of 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed and has a mass of 312 grams what volume will it occupy? The equation that we need is V is equal to M divided by D. The mass given in the problem was 312 grams. The density was 2.7. Divide and get 155.56 centimeters cubed. Remember that every time you do a problem, we do need to see the equation, the work, the answer, and the units. Thanks for watching.